Right. Now, I'm afraid I cannot explain what was seen in those tapes, but I'd like to make it clear that they were not altered in any way. So you're suggesting this was paranormal activity? I am not suggesting anything. I am just telling you what I saw. It appeared that in those tapes, the train was attacked by another engine. Do you have an idea to who this engine was? Well... All I can say is that it looked identical to an engine that was destroyed back in 1925. But again, I'm not making any assumptions. I'm just telling you what I saw. How are you going to deal with the situation? We will continue to investigate the matter thoroughly. What if it is a real ghost? What are you going to do then? Yep, we're rolling. Now tell us, what was your immediate reaction when you saw the footage? Well, I nearly had a heart attack from that video. It was the most shocking thing I had ever seen in my life. Well, I actually laughed at first because I thought it was a prank and someone had screwed with the footage. My laugh quickly went silent when I saw how pale everyone else was. And it hit me! I had just seen a ghost on camera! I instantly knew who it was. My grandfather had told me about this Alfred engine and the damage he had done. After I realized that, there was no doubt. I tried to convince myself otherwise, but what I saw was just not from this world! Well, it appears we have a ghost on the line. Who are you going to call? Well, ah, I see what you did there. In all seriousness, what the hell are we supposed to do? Perhaps if we, I don't know, try to meet up with Alfred and see what he wants? Are you kidding me? He tried to murder us! He's right, Gordon. From what my grandfather told me, there is no way I'm going to negotiate with him. But how can you stop him? And what if he strikes again? The only thing I worry about right now is how everyone will react. And how did they react? Oh, it was news all around the world. But the interesting thing is this. The only way it affected the railway was that there were less night trains, as people didn't want to travel at night. So in all honesty, it didn't do that much damage. But oh boy, did people start writing up strange conspiracies. How did the other engines react? It's a conspiracy! A constant what? Conspiracy! It's when... Oh, it's too complicated to explain and not worth it. We're all doomed! I say someone's definitely tampered with those cameras. I don't know what it is, but I can tell you, those tapes do not look like they have been edited. Even 70 years later, I still have the exact image of Alfred stained in my mind, and I tell you, that was the image of Alfred. There were, of course, more sightings afterwards. Can you tell us about those? Well, it further cemented my belief that the whole thing was real. First, we saw Alfred on the Wellsworth security cameras. Around 2am, he just casually rolled through the station. Everyone was very confused, but they didn't believe it at first. So the night after, they sent two men to investigate. They hung out on the platform with a camera, but Alfred didn't come. There's no ghosts. We've been here for hours. I think you're quite right. But shall we look up the line a bit? I don't see why not. Ghosts? Pa! What a load of rubbish. I tell you, this is probably nothing but a wretched prank old fat hat is playing on us. Yes, indeed. Oh, wait. Blast! My wallet must have fallen out on the bench. I'll just go back and... It was then I no longer cared whether it was real or not. I only knew that I had to send Alfred back to where he came from. So how did you do it? Well, a few days later, 
Someone came to me who had the answer. Well, hello, sir. What's your name again? Rogman, sir. Nathan W. Rogman. Sir, uh, may I inquire as to why you wanted to see me? It's about this, um, paranormal activity. I know how to put an end to it. <laughs> Are you an exorcist or something? No, but I used to work on the Cody Fell Railway, and we had similar incidents to what's going on right now. Similar incidents? You mean, there was a ghost there too? Before I go further, I must recommend that you keep this information out of the public until we've caught the ghost. Understood? Of course. Now carry on. Right. Until a few years ago, I was a guard on the Cody Fell Railway. I was quite well known and had a good relation with the manager. It was the summer of 1980 when we saw him. Who? The number one engine. Godred, who had been scrapped after tumbling down a mountain in 1900, had returned from the dead. He stared at us with his ghostly eyes. We were all still, unable to move in fright. He then slowly moved forward, and when he ran back into the coach that had brought us up, our engine puffed away very quickly. It didn't stop until we had reached the safety of our shed. We had seen a ghost engine. And what did you do? Well, we made sure that the press didn't hear about it for one thing, but we had no idea what to do. I mean, what the heck do you do with a ghost? But the answer soon came to us. A driver's grandfather, who was 98 at the time, was once an archaeologist. He knew almost everything about Southern history, from ancient kings and castles and battles. He knew of an object that would rid us of Godred's ghost. This object happened to be an old kettle. A kettle? How is a bloody kettle gonna kill a ghost? It doesn't kill them. It traps them. According to legend, it was constructed in the 1500s by a mysterious man believed to be a wizard. We don't know much about this man, but we do know he was very interested in the idea of ghosts and paranormal activity. He succeeded in making a kettle that could trap ghosts. No one knows who got a hold of it after this man died, but it eventually ended up in the bottom of Arlesdale Lake. How did you find it? We didn't. The archaeologist had it in his possession. He had found it at the bottom of the lake in Arsdale long before. He never captured any ghosts with it because he never ran into any. Now was the time to put it to the test. We tracked down Godred's ghost once more. We stared into his non-existent soul. The archaeologist taunted the ghost, encouraging him to run towards him. Godred gave in and shot forward. And just as it hit him, there was a blinding flash! Godred was gone. But the kettle was now whistling, as if the water was boiling. Godred was trapped inside. Let me guess. You're suggesting that we use this, uh, kettle to trap Alfred? Exactly. But we have to find it first. After realizing that this kettle was indeed a, well, magical one, the archaeologist was concerned about it going into the wrong hands. It remained hidden in his house until he died. Then, his grandson apparently buried it in an old abandoned mine near the Scarloy Railway. I see. Well, there seems to be no other logical solution. Let's find that kettle. Tell me, where is the grandson of this archaeologist? Well, just by luck, I believe he's now a driver on the Scarloy Railway. I've heard he now drives a little orange diesel. His name is Hornsby. Well, I best inform the official investigator. He'd like to know about this. Oh my goodness, how did it get so cold all of a sudden? Oh, I'm sorry. Was my entrance a little too... chilling? What are you doing here? I should have thought it was obvious. I was the pride of the LNER. Adored. Admired. Glorified. Until you had 
golden had to come and ruin it for me! You, you did that yourself! And how are you gonna enact your revenge? You're a ghost! You can't do anything! Oh really? Have you forgotten our little reunion? Oh my god! Let's get out of here! Agreed! You can run, Henry, but you can't hide. Not while your and Gordon's fates are sealed. Not while I have this whole cursed railway to haunt. <laughs> The next morning, we set off to find this, um, thing. What is it they're looking for, driver? Afraid I can't say. It's confidential. Now come on, off we go. Are you sure this, um, tea kettle will be there? Well, aside from Harnsby, no one's been in the mine since it closed. In fact, not many people know of its existence. I still can't believe that the solution to a supernatural problem is a ruddy tea kettle. Are you serious? It was only a matter of time before you did. Why do you think he's back? Why wouldn't he? He thinks we're the cause of his downfall, and he wants revenge. He wants to haunt us and cause as much mayhem as possible. If he can push you off the rails and create a sinkhole, who knows what else he can do? That's what I'm worried about. I think you should be a little more than worried. We've got a homicidal phantom on a line! And that is why the Fat Controller is on a secret mission right now. I say, I don't see any kettles in here. I put it in a trap door, if I remember correctly. The trouble is, I don't remember. What? Oh, there it is. You are right, Topham? I've had worse, and I think I found your kettle. Yep, that is most certainly it. Just as beautiful as I remember it. It looks like it came from Asda. You mean the shop? All right, very funny. But be careful. This object contains a great deal of power, and it must be used carefully. Whoops! What on earth? It was sunny! How is this possible? I think that new fuel might not be a good fit for me. Oh, there they are! All right, we better get that thing into a safe place before it causes more trouble. Thank you, Rusty. You're welcome. Pleased to be of service. What utter nonsense. I hope this bloody thing works. I will not lose this railway to a disgruntled dead locomotive. Out of my way, you silly sausages. I'm staying put, you blue buffoon. You know, I wonder if Alfred's paid him a visit. Now that is something I'd pay to see. He's a right coward, and would probably shake himself to bits. Or wet the tracks. <laughs> oh look, it's the Fat Controller. Good afternoon. We have good news. We found it. Found what? Oh, right. Uh, let me explain. This here is a kettle that can trap ghosts. I beg your pardon? You heard him right. This is a mystical object right here. I take it the engines didn't believe you? No, not at first. They thought we had nicked it from Burning Man or something. It's a long story, but I'll explain later. Tonight, we've got work to do. Tonight? Tonight? Why, yes. We need to get rid of this ghost as soon as possible. Um, uh, uh, well, okay, but d do you even need us, though? Yes, because we need to ram him at speed. Then Gordon should do it. But what if something goes wrong? We're going to need more than one engine. Well, that makes me feel loads better. You don't understand. He's more powerful than you think. He can levitate things. He's, a, he's not just a ghost. He's a demon. We'll have to trick him somehow. This is not going to be easy. Yes, you don't need to state the bloody obvious. Good luck, you two. I'd be there with you, but I'm just not strong enough. Go and get rid of that evil creature of an engine once and for all! I will say, though, I don't know if throwing a teapot at a ghost will work. If you make any more snarky comments, you might as well go right in front of us to face Alfred full-on, Thomas. 
Calm down, Gordon. You're just nervous. Nervous? Nervous, Henry! I'm bloody terrified, you donut! Oh, finally. Here they come. Got the kettle? Yep. I think we're ready. Well, I'm not. I don't think any of us are ready, Mr. Rodman. I know that. But we've got to get rid of this thing. Did he just say they're using a kettle to get rid of Alfred? You've got to be kidding me. So we left around midnight for Wellsworth. It was one of the most hair-raising journeys I've ever taken. Just before we arrived at Wellsworth, we knew he was there. Oh, God. Well, where are you? Show yourself! Oh, how rude of me. What? That's right, Gordon. Feast your eyes on the life you've destroyed. Okay, I'm just gonna say right off the bat that I'm not going to listen to any of this bullcrap about how we were the reason you blew yourself up. Ever since you arrived on this island, you had this horrible attitude. You were arrogant, rude, and to put it frankly, a great big freaking sociopath. You had many chances to get your act together, but you just wouldn't because all you cared about was domination. You wanted to be on top of the ladder, the best out there. You wanted everything all to yourself. Well, that's not how life works, buddy. You are nothing but a stuck-up green asshole. And I'm supposed to believe you weren't the same. In the past, maybe, but not now. Gordon is a well-respected engineer. He is bold, brave, and will not let anything destroy him. He uses his strength to help others in need. He knows what it means to be an engine of Sodor, something you never seem to know. In your point of view, perhaps, I tell you mine. I don't give a damn about your point of view! You tried to murder us! I take it back. You're not just an asshole, you're a savage beast! Bye bye, bastard! Strike one! Oh, come on! Don't bother, Gordon. It's useless to resist. You're a blinking ghost. What are you going to do? Knock me off the rails? Right, oh, and to answer your question, Gordon. No, 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 what are you doing? Teaching you a jolly good lesson. You're second rate, Gordon, and that's all you'll ever be! Oh no, Gordon! So, you won't stay dead, eh? Heaven, 87546. My dearest friend. <laughs> How are you? No, 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 no. 87546 is no more. My name is Croven, and how dare you call me a friend? Oh, come now. I thought we were the best of chums. Yeah, I thought so too. But I see the truth now. I wasn't your friend. I was your pawn, your minion. You manipulated me with your hateful ideologies. And that's your problem, Alfred. You have no love or sympathy in you. You're full of nothing but pure hate. Hate which has kept my spirit intact for all these decades. And ironically enough, I love it! <laughs> You could have joined me, Kriven. But I see my triumph is a solo act. <laughs> now why don't you run along and play? Why don't you just come and kiss my ass? Why, you wretched little ingrate! Go back to hell, you son of a <laughs> He's gone. You've done it! 
Bloody hell. I've forgotten why I don't run. Oh, my legs are aching. I'm confused. I thought we had to ram Alfred at speed. <laughs> Apparently, the fat controller was going fast enough. The demon has been smitten. Yes, let him rot in that pit. Now, if you'd excuse me, I must attend to the governor. I can't spend all day wasting time chasing ghosts. I guess he does have more bravery than we thought, just like the man he was named after. Now then, I think it would be prudent if we got the breakdown train. So, that's it? It only took that tea kettle? Yes, I know, it's shocking, but you never know what power these little knickknacks have. <laughs> Indeed. Do you have any contact with Rodman now? We couldn't interview him because he's in the United States right now. Occasionally, but he's a bit of a nutter now. He looks around for other mysterious magical things. In fact, he went to America to find a so-called magic railroad. We gave the kettle back to Hornsby, who discarded it somewhere secret. No one knows where it is. And frankly, that's a good thing. People can't be trusted with magical instruments such as that. I believe this belongs to you. <laughs>